there was a time where YouTube, and I hate to, I hate to make these types of videos when literally hundreds to thousands of other content creators have made this similar type of video, but again, there was a time when YouTube, where you could just post videos for the sake of fun, right? You know, just posting videos for the sake of fun, or posting videos to make money off of them, and, you know, essentially, like, you could still technically do that, at least until, I think it said, like, December the 1st or something like that, but now... Here at NGB, and for those of you who actually still watch my videos on my previous channel, my old channel that I don't upload anymore, but I used to, you know, sort of watch YouTube from there, my own personal channel, my own personal account that I use for, you know, personal reasons for job interviews and all that stuff. But again, point is, is that as you guys are aware, or if you're not aware, NGB, we make videos not because we want to make money off of them. Like, we post videos on YouTube and everything. Not because we want to make videos, money off of those videos. We make those, we upload those videos from, like, our streaming or just, like, gameplay in general and all that stuff. We do that for the sake of fun, you know, because it's, like, sort of a hobby of sorts. And I apologize, it's my laptop. I'm, I'm just going to shut it. I'm just going to shut it. But it's like, again, it's like we make those kinds of contents and those types of videos for the sake of fun. It's a hobby to gain awareness for our business. We don't use it to make money off of YouTube, which I know is like sort of, you know, um, somewhat unrelatable to all the content creators on YouTube and everything like that. But, you know, it's just, again, to those who do make content for the sake of fun or just for fun's sake, because I know that YouTube used to be a place where it's like, you know, you used to make videos for the sake of fun and not make money off of that, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with making money off of a video on YouTube that you created, there's nothing wrong with that, but this is just sort of to people like myself here at NGB who are just using it to gain awareness or just, you know, making videos for the sake of fun, but now, but now to the obvious point of this topic, but now it's going to be harder to do that. It's going to be more difficult. It's going to be nearly darn near impossible to do. It's just... It's just going to be even more frustrating because... Again, it would be easier just to say like, Oh, well, since we play games that are rated E all the way up to rated M. You know, for mature... And then rated E for everyone. It's like, again, oh, we can just say, like, it's not for kids, you know. It's not for kids, so there we go. Problem solved, right? But in recent times, I'm, st like, some people are saying that it's like, oh, no, you can't do that. Because if some of your videos are, are actually, like, friendly content, you know, they're friendly for kids and everything. If they are like that and you say that they're not. You could either have the video, like, taken down, have your channel taken down, or, even worse, hit with a fine. A fine that I obviously, as someone who is in college trying to get my degree and everything, as someone who is still currently, who just now started working at a minimum wage job, you can get hit with a fine of over $10,000. Obviously, I can't. I can't even, like, n even if I didn't have a minimum wage job, no sane human being can afford that much of a fee for each video that isn't friendly, that, that isn't kid-friendly. So it's like, so it's like, again, I'm frustrated. I'm actually frustrated that it's like I can't get around this because it's like again we're not trying to make money off of these videos and I know it's somewhat unrelated to most YouTubers who do these types of videos who make you know content creations for the sake of monetization and I know I pronounce that wrong but the point is is like you know we're not trying to make friendly content so that way we don't get demonetized or anything like that we're doing it for the sake of fun and now because of YouTube's new, new policy we probably can't even do that. I don't know, like, again, for creators who aren't making money off of their U off of their videos and everything like that, like, I don't know if that's going to be the case for them. 
it likely is going to be the case where it's like they have to answer it correctly and they have to make sure that you know these sets of videos are not kid friendly and these sets of videos are kid friendly despite the fact that you chose because again when I open up studios on the NGBG page, I went in there and it said like, okay, I click, you know, click all videos to make sure they're not kid friendly and everything. And it's like, again, I would think, and you know, me, when I'm doing that, I'm like, all right, problem solved. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about the FCD getting on my tail, but no, apparently that's not the, that's not it. Apparently they do want you to actually go back and see if the video actually is kid friendly which makes it even more difficult because it's like again like maybe some of them are maybe some of them aren't i mean here at ngb we kind of keep it at a pg to a pg 13 page so it's so it's really complicated it really complicates things because it's like again their definition of what's kid friendly might be different from my definition and that is it's, it's just like, again, it just sort of goes back to, I don't want to, I'm not going to get into this topic a whole lot, but it's just like, again, it's, that's literally like comparing this parent's version of parenting to this person's parent, uh, version of parenting. Like, again, it's like two different versions. Like their version of PG might be different from my version, which is why I don't, I just, I just, I, I don't know. This is something that just rolled off the top of my head where it's like I might do something different where I might just – where we might just have to leave YouTube altogether because it's like we still have Twitch. We still do streams on Twitch and everything, so it's not a big deal, but it's like – what makes this frustrating is just the fact that it's like I've recently been able to like edit videos once again because my previous editing program, like it stopped working – all together entirely so it's like I had to find a new one and I just now found one or at least like a temporal one to work with at least until I can get like Adobe Premiere or something like that I don't know something useful but it's like again it's like because of that I was hoping like okay well cool I can go back to making videos and posting them on YouTube for the sake of fun but now it's like we're past that now like YouTube YouTube's policy, everything, it's changing, like, no longer is it safe for YouTubers such as myself, such as people here at NGB, no longer is it safe for us to create content, rather it's for awareness or just, again, for the sake of, for the sake of just, you know, making content for fun, but it's like, again, it's like, it's frustrating, because it's like, because of this new policy, I don't even know if we can create these videos for fun. I don't know if it's even safe for us to make these videos again. So, but because it's like, again, even though I went into my settings, I just, again, for the safety reason, for safety reasons, I said, no, they're not kid friendly, all the videos, but apparently I can still get fined for that. So, so it's like my only other option at that point would either to A, go back and review every video, which would mean going back and reviewing over a hundred, and I mean hundreds of videos. Two, I can either delete all the videos on YouTube and, and just like either give up YouTube altogether or just try to post my video somewhere else. Um, not daily motions, but just somewhere else where I can post my videos freely for the sake of fun. And three, I'm trying to think of a third reason. Or three, I can either take a gamble, I can either say all the videos are not kid friendly, and just hope and pray, and just pray that the FCT doesn't find me for a video that may or may not be kid friendly. Even though I said all of them aren't. So yeah, um, I'm more than certain that JR has heard about it. I haven't talked to him about it yet, but I'm more than certain because he watches YouTube. Um, not as not as not as much as I do, but he still watches YouTube, so I'm sure he's aware of the situation right now. But um, by the time you're watching this, I will have hopefully talk to him about it and we'll see we'll we'll just see what happens we'll just 
we'll just see what we do. So, this is your boy Dizzle from NGB, and I just hope we can figure this situation out, honestly.